Hey, gorgeous! Welcome to this episode. Now, today I want to talk about how to use my three best money affirmations to change your life. I know that money affirmations can get a little bit iffy for some of you, but you know that I absolutely love a good affirmation because I think they really have a powerful impact on your life and business, and it can be as powerful as reading a book or taking a course. Affirmations are a huge part of how I have manifested my life and business, and I always recommend them as a great starting point if you are looking to upgrade your life or to have more belief in yourself to own and love the F word. I've used many affirmations over the years, starting point for me was Louise Hay. You can heal your life through her book and that audiobooks that I listened to, I realized that, wow, it completely changed the way I look at things and how I do my own life. So depending on what you are trying to manifest or depending on what I was trying to manifest, And of course, I always get what I asked for. And of course, there are specific affirmations for specific situations, okay? So there are three best affirmations that I have that can help you shift you from feeling negative and frustrated to feeling really good about yourself, abundant and deserving really quickly. You ready? Let's do it. So how affirmations can impact your money mindset? First and foremost, affirmations are positive brain training statements that help you shift your focus from the negative where a lot of us spend our time, okay? And shift it to the positive. When we talk about focusing and doing affirmations, it does scientifically activate our reticular activating system in our brain. That's like a light tower shining brightly, showing a signal outwards so that the good stuff will come to you that you want. So affirmations are great pattern interrupters as well as that can shift your energy and your mood. So what do I mean by pattern interrupter? Okay, it goes like this. You're about to start your day and you notice negative thoughts about how you'll never be successful or how you'll never make a million dollars or how you'll never have your bakery because you're, you are living with your mother-in-law or how you are kind of at your job. You are in a senior position or at a position in the corporate world, but you know, life is just like that and it never really breaks through. So your old stories are running, running, running in your mind, going round and round the circles like it plays in the jukebox. You don't feel qualified enough. You feel like you are fake. You feel like you are not real. And then you said, I don't have enough experience or you need to lose more weight because, you know, you are just eating and or trying to fix your diet or fix your weight, but you never really make it happen for yourself. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, (laughs) so if you don't pattern interrupt these negative thoughts patterns, you will probably create a downward spiral that manifests more frustration, lack and negativity. When you're feeling absolutely crap about yourself or feeling absolutely lousy, you often miss out opportunities, you talk yourself out of taking action and then you get stuck in the same position of procrastination. So why do we need to break through these negative self-talks? Well, negative self-talks is one of the biggest sabotaging patterns I see in people who aren't living their ideal life. 
the life of the F word. Freedom, financial independence, happy family, being fabulous. They totally just kind of miss the mark or miss the boat. And this is one of the quickest and cheapest. (laughs) Okay, quickest and cheapest ways to turn things around. So my signature affirmation is if that if you use an affirmation like my signature affirmation, you will say, I love myself and I set myself free. This is my time and I'm ready for the next step. And it, this immediately gives your brain something really positive to focus on instead of those annoying, stupid, negative patterns. Now, this particular affirmation sends the message that you are ready even before you are really ready. And that it's only the step that needs to happen so it becomes less scary. Plus, it gets you out of the jealousy, the FOMO, fear of missing out, the shiny object syndrome that Everyone else is getting the opportunities, getting their books ready, getting their podcasts out, having their own bakery, having their own live stream that is selling a lot of products like crazy. And then it reminds you that good things can happen to you too. So when you train your brain to look for the positive, you automatically start to feel better and act in different ways. You might feel more motivated to take action, even a small one, and it has a knock-on effect to create positive outcomes too. So if you use affirmations, whenever you notice the negative thoughts come into play, you successfully pattern interrupt the downward spiral of your mood, of your thoughts, before it causes drama in your life. Do it enough and you train your brain to manifest super awesome, fabulous F-word things for you. So what are the best affirmations to grow your business and abundance? To own and love the F-word. Fabulous, freedom, financial independence, and happy family. So here are some affirmations I'm loving right now. Affirmation one. My face is my fortune. I use this one all the time. This is for you entrepreneurs out there or budding entrepreneurs, okay, aspiring entrepreneurs, whether you're thinking about starting a bakery, starting your own side hustle, even though you're a 9 to 5 employee, or or even though you're in a full-time business, hey, it's for you. Don't hide. For your customers to connect with you, you need to be seen. People love connecting with an actual person. And although you think you're not perfect, you know, you're fat, too fat, too thin, too this and too that, you know, that's exactly what they want to see. They want to be able to resonate with you. So the way to differentiate yourself in a crowded marketplace is to unapologetically be you. Yes, darling. Yes, even at your current weight, (laughs) current size, current skin, current color, even though you think you're not ready. And even if you worry, you're not good enough. I used to think that I had to completely change my outlook to be successful. I had to completely dress a different way to be successful. I know, weird, right? But I hear that all the time from other people. Your success and abundance will skyrocket when you get okay being successful. Just as you are. I don't know if you know the song. Just the way you are. Okay, (laughs) I can't sing. (laughs) Alright, so just the way you are. So, six of my favorite ways to get visible. Get some new photo shoot done. 
Yeah, before you're ready. Every time I get new photos done, I can feel my business going to the next level. I feel like I invest in myself. Number two, use your face on your branding. Even if you're a product business or live stream business, e-commerce business, give yourself permission to be seen as a real life model of what you do. Even if you are a 9 to 5 employee for your podcast, use your face for your branding because you are a thought leader. You are an advocate for the topic that you believe in. Number three, if you make things, show the behind the scenes of your workspace and how you create your work. I love the behind the scenes, okay? It can be messy, but it can be fun and it makes you real. Number four, this also helps for you to charge well for what you do because your audience starts to appreciate the work that goes into your product. Number five, be brave to show a mix of photos, the glam up ones versus the real life ones. You'll be surprised what your audience or the people resonate with. Put a picture of yourself on your about page and on your social media profile. So many women hide away by using a picture of their animals or a fuzzy old picture of them wearing sunglasses or a mask covering their face. Lastly, get on the camera either with live streaming, interviews or pre-recorded videos so that your audience can connect with you. Do what feels comfortable, darling. But basically, show up and show yourself. Repeat the affirmation. My face is my fortune. And any time if you feel like you're not enough and that you're not ready or when you want to hide away from the world, the connection to the real you is what will grow your audience and income. Affirmation 2. I serve, I deserve. I deserve to be rich when I add value into other people's lives. So the word deserve means that when you serve through your programs, your products or your services, you deserve to be rich. You deserve to own and love the F word. You deserve everything that you dreamt of or you dream about. So when I first started using this affirmation, It completely changed the way I felt about my impact on the world and my ability to receive abundance in return. I used to feel really horrible and terrible that I couldn't help everyone and would constantly feel guilty. Have you ever experienced those guilt trips 3 a.m. in the morning? Waking up thinking that, oh, I should have helped the person? Many heart-centered entrepreneurs go into business to help people. And it feels horrible when you have to refuse free advice requests, pro bono work, or you get customers blaming you for not offering discounts, scholarships, and they go around gossiping about how you charge so expensive that they, they can't afford your services or your products. The truth is, there are so many free resources out there. Even for me, I've created 3,000 videos on social media for people who cannot afford my services, for my products or services, to have access to me and learn through my live stream videos that I've done over the last many, many years. So... What's there to feel guilty about? Why do I still feel guilty about all these things? Because I'm a woman and I'm I'm human. (laughs) I'm human, really human. The truth is that when you have a business, you could work 24-7 and still not feel like you are doing enough. There's no off time or clock off time for most of us. So how do you deal with it? Now, think of all the ways you serve people. It could be the hundreds of free articles on your blog or thousands of videos 
that you have on your social media, just like me, your weekly podcast, your daily podcast, like what we are doing for our two podcasts. One is Soul Why, Secrets of the Soul Rich Woman Blueprint. My the other podcast is For Women Who Love the F Word. Or maybe the way you help out in business forums, answering questions in Facebook groups, on social. Maybe you ask a question, you do ask me anything in your stories for your social media. You are probably serving all the time. All the time, I repeat. Well, guess what? You are allowed to receive abundance in return for all the good that you are putting out in the world. It is okay to say no to requests for free advice or people just want to make gossip about you to say that because you're very expensive and the other business coach or the other podcast coach is cheaper than you. You know what? It's okay to steer clear of these customers and guide them towards your free resources like your blog, or the videos, the free videos, the free story videos, whatever that you have already put out there, free downloads, free workbooks that are already down there for them to see. They are just lazy sometimes or they don't know where to look or they treat you like a walking dictionary. Okay, so it's okay, darling, to say no to requests for free advice. Okay? And it's okay to guide them towards all these things that I've just mentioned. Plus, even just guide them to a clarity call that you charge them for, let's say, $100. Doesn't matter. As long as you set a boundary and it, you accept that it's okay, as long as you serve, you deserve to. You deserve to be rich when you serve or you make an impact to people's lives or add value to other people's lives. Now, this affirmation will remind you of all the ways you help people, but it also helps you to remember that you don't have to serve in all ways or be everything to everyone. You already served. Use this affirmation as your reminder that it's okay to receive good things doing what you do. You are entitled to receive abundance in your life from serving people, including money. Okay, I have to say that louder. Including money. Okay, so remember this. I serve, I deserve. I deserve to be rich when I add value to other people's lives. Okay, here is another life-changing affirmation that I love. Affirmation three. This is what a wealthy person looks like. This is what a soul-rich woman looks like. This is what a soul-rich woman looks like. Now, this one will change your life. When you think about the stereotypical rich woman wealthy person, what do you think they will look like, sound like, or dress like? Do they look like you? I used to think I wasn't allowed to be wealthy and rich because I like to dress a bit more casual and I don't dress up most of the time. I I love casual stuff, okay? And I love McDonald's. (laughs) Haha. Surely, A rich woman has to have a mess, Chanel, and all the big fancy brands and fancy outfits all the time, right? Go look in the mirror and say this affirmation to yourself. Point to your face and say this. This is what a soul rich woman looks like. This is what a soul rich woman woman looks like. This is what a wealthy person looks like. Now, warning first, okay? It might totally trigger you 
and challenge your beliefs about your ability to be rich and wealthy. It will bring up your hidden excuses, your gossip behavior, your drama queen, right up to the surface. For sure. See what you tell yourself straight afterwards when you say, this is what a soul-rich woman looks like. Pointing to yourself, this is what a wealthy person looks like. Pointing to yourself, okay? And you see what you tell yourself or the bubble, like the bubble speech that pops up immediately afterwards. Oh, I'm not rich. I'm not good enough to be wealthy. Oh, I am not a soul rich woman. I'm bankrupt right now. I am such a spender. Oh, I'm not good. I'm so lousy. Oh, I have not got any business. I'm not, I'm nobody. I'm just a 9 to 5 employee. Hello? Let them bubble up. How are you not allowed to be a soul, S O U L, rich woman? How are you not allowed to be wealthy? Now, this is hugely valuable information about your money blocks and the stories you tell yourself that will keep you small. So use this affirmation means that you might need to clear some money blocks that are getting in your way right now. But if you keep on using it and whenever you catch yourself thinking, I can't be wealthy because I am not a soul rich woman because, then you will interrupt the pattern. And remind yourself that you can be as a soul-rich woman, as rich as you want to be, as much soul-rich as you want to be, as you love to be, as much wealthiness as you want to be. And you can be as wealthy as you like. You'll start to believe that it's possible for you too. Exactly how you are now. So, Which affirmation will you use today? Using affirmations takes a bit of effort to remember. But if you can get into the habit, you'll see huge results in a very short time. Remember, you get what you focus on, so training your brain to focus on the positive really boosts your manifesting efforts. Now, if you need some help starting to work on your money mindset, I have a ton of resources to help you. I have helped thousands of entrepreneurs break through their F word, okay? To own their, love their F word, which is fabulous, freedom, financial independence, and a happy family. So really, or you can connect with me on a clarity call, and that is at sorichwoman.com forward slash clarity. Okay, so you can book my time, have a chat with me, how to break through this year for yourself. Remember, you can own and love your F word. This is your time and you are ready for the next step. Sending you my love and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.